Hi everyone, I haven't really felt motivated to make a cosplay tutorial, so I figured I would share with you how I make these pillows using fabric dye as watercolor and free motion embroidery on my sewing machine to make these beetles. I hope you enjoy! I started out by ironing my fabric. I just used an old sheet for this and then I put the pillow on top so I could mark how big I wanted my painting to be. Then I took some fabric dye in powder form and I just took a little bit and put it in a glass container. I added some salt because the instruction said that that would help keep the color. And then I just added some boiling water. And then mix it up really well. Next I wetted my fabric. I just used a spray bottle and then I took a paintbrush, dipped it in the dye and I just started painting. I am using a turquoise, a pink, purple and navy. Then I spritz some more water to make it run a bit and then I hang it up to dry, threw it in the washer and dried it again. Once my fabric was ready I picked out a picture of a beetle and put the screen of my laptop on bright. Then I put the fabric on top so I could see the beetle through the fabric and then very very carefully I traced the beetle. I am using a friction pen uh, because they disappear when you heat them up. I took some tearaway stabilizer to make sure that my fabric wouldn't bunch up and I pinned these with safety pins so I wouldn't step myself. I'm using a darning foot. This has a spring in it and a clear ring to make it easier for me to see what I'm doing. But there are a bunch of feet that you could use. Free motion embroidery feet, a ruler foot, couching foot, anything that has a large hole which makes it possible for you to see your needle well. So once I have my foot installed, I'm gonna disengage the feet dogs. Those are the parts that usually pull your fabric to the back when you're sewing. I also lowered my tension a bit. And I still like to make my stitch length the smallest that my machine can go. But I don't think it really matters as long as your feet dogs are disengaged. I like to wear gloves because they give me a bit more grip. The ones I use are the cheapest ones I could find and they're actually meant to be used in the garden. But you can also do it without gloves. So as you can see the shapes are there because I'm actually moving the fabric. It takes a bit of practice but it's actually really fun to do. And then I removed most of my tearaway stabilizer. The tiny bits that I couldn't really get out, I just left in there, it doesn't really matter. But you want to remove the big pieces so it doesn't become too stiff. And then I hit it with an iron again. To turn this into a pillowcase, I measured the width of my pillow, which was 40 centimeters, And then I added 2 centimeters on both sides. I folded my fabric in half and then I cut along the long side on 22 centimeters, so half of the measurement that I just took. Then I put the pillow in the middle of my painting so I could be sure that it would be centered when I folded the pillowcase and I just tried it out to see how wide I wanted the pieces to overlap in the back. That ended up being 88 centimeters and I cut it at 90. If your pillowcase is going to be one layer, you want to add a little more for more seam allowance. But because my fabric was not really thick, the pattern of the pillow showed through, so I had to add another layer. So I took another piece of the sheet and cut out a rectangle the same size as my pillowcase. Ironed it, and then I sewed the short sides together right sides together. Then I press those seams, turn it right side out and press the seam again. 
Then I folded it back over the pillow to see how far I want the fold to go. Measure it to make sure that it's the same on both sides. And then pin it and sew that in place as well. If your fabric frays easily, make sure to overlock or zigzag stitch over those edges. And then you can fold it right sides out. So just stuff in your pillow and you have a very unique pillowcase. I made these ones for my friend Hushed Cosplay. You can check her out on her social media. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you did and you want to see more tutorials, you can subscribe to my channel. And if you want to see more of my work, you can check out my Facebook and Instagram.